Good morning. Uh, 707. Let's uh, go to the phones again where we have, he's a former director of the Civil Service uh, Commission, and we spoke a little bit briefly about this uh, double pay issue and really wanted to, you know, we go into issues like this, the perspective I think is important, right? Uh, Because maybe we just have too many newbies in the administration, they don't know, you know, how to put this in the proper perspective. Uh, So we're going to bring on uh, Mr. Eloy Hara onto the show. Good morning, Mr. Hara. Hi. Uh, Good morning, uh, Chris, uh, and uh, we also have uh, Sabrina. She's so excited to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am not sure, uh, you know, uh, how much help I can be of. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, I didn't really hear uh, all the uh, circumstances or the situation that uh, um, I tried to. Uh, I'm not sure which station you're on, uh, <laughs> because uh, you know I I put uh, you on channel eight, but uh, you're not there now. Check, check channel ten, Uncle Eli. What? It's channel ten. Right. Channel ten. Yeah, and then we yeah. go on channel eleven at eight. We're also on ninety three point nine FM and uh, Facebook uh, Live. I don't. I know the wife. Maybe does the wife have Facebook? You can pop on the Facebook <laughs> Live. Uh, so, so Mr. Harry, let's just uh, give us your. <clears throat> knowledge on this double pay issue and why uh, so many government and Guam employees know that they're entitled to it. Okay, the ba- basically, uh, of course, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, even though I used to be the uh, local expert when I was uh, at Civil Service Commission, <clears throat> Because I, I was able to actually update uh, not only the Guam Power and GWA uh, uh, personnel rules and regulations, also uh, I uh, updated the uh, 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 Department of Administration personnel rules and regulations. But that's been uh, quite a few years back, and I am not, I'm not current as, uh, you know. Well, sir, I don't think anything's changed because we got thousands of government employees out here who are mad that they're not getting their double pay. So we, we spoke a little briefly about it uh, yesterday. Just, just give us your two cents on yes. it, Mr. Hearn. Okay, let me, uh, let me then uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, see... Uh, explain what how it was when I was uh, both at uh, Guam Power, GWA, and Civil Service Commission. Mm -hmm. Okay, how we used to handle, uh, you know, um, um, pay differentials such such as, uh, you know, the situation right now under emergency circumstances. Of course, the only emergency that we used to have were, you know, like typhoons. Right. Okay. Now with this uh, COVID-19, the governor, (coughs) I believe, has certain powers that that, uh, supersedes some local uh, uh, rules, regulation, especially rules, regulations. But the uh, governor also, I believe, have certain uh, power under, uh, you know, this 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 kind of uh, emergency, which um, I believe even supersedes some local laws. So, Mr. Harrod, do you believe that her executive order uh, instituting the COVID differential pay sliding scale system trumps what is in the uh, DOA personnel rules and regs about the double pay? Um, yes, her powers, like I said, now supersede really, uh, especially any any rules or regulation. But uh, um, explain to me, because I'm not sure what the question is, uh, meaning, uh, okay, what is going on now and how 
uh, what, let me, what let me just make it very uh, simple for you, Mr. Harrod. Do you believe the government employees who are essential, who are on the front line responding to the COVID-19 public health emergency, do you believe that they should be getting double pay? Uh, yes, under even under the uh, all uh, personnel rules regulation, when when you work under emergency circumstances, you you do uh, just like uh, when when some of our guys used to work uh, Saturday and Sunday or holidays, then they do get uh, up to double pay, uh, you know. So that really uh, is. Uh, uh, it's not her using her powers. That's that's prescribed in the uh, the rules and regulation that uh, we were operating, um, you know, uh, back then. Uh. Right, but she's using her powers to create an entirely new uh, pay policy when it comes to differential okay. pay, yeah. so which is the she is uh, now using her powers. To uh, you know, not pay it. To go beyond that, uh, then uh, you know that's a different story. But but I really, I'm really wondering uh, if, for example, she was to use her power to uh, to not pay government employees what they do under the rules and regulation. Okay, uh, it's possible under under this emergency situation that because of the revenue base is not there, then obviously if there's no revenue basis, uh, you know, uh, for her, meaning that there's no money there, mm. that she, she does uh, have power to, to, uh, to not, uh, you know, uh, uh, to read it, meaning actually to reduce government of Guam pay. Now, her power, I'm not sure, whether uh, it, it, it goes out towards the private sector like your, yourselves. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 I have to review. Yeah, I don't uh, think it does. We're, no, not no, no. we're not expecting double pay. <laughs> Let's go back to what, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Harris, so the Guam <laughs> Federation of Teachers now, they're doing a call out. They're basically saying, hey, anybody who wants to get on this lawsuit, Let's get on this lawsuit. We're going to sue for the double pay. How do you think this is going to end up playing out? In the, do you think we're going to reach a point where we go to the courts, or because it kind of seems like a big game of chicken, double pay chicken? Um, it sounds to me like uh, uh, you know you uh, guys in the private sector uh, are, are going to what we consider you know the the proper protocol, meaning that if the governor is for example, doing something that you don't believe, uh, you know, um, is correct, then uh, uh, of course the proper procedure is to is to take the court, and especially under the uh, auspices of the uh, of the labor union. So you know that would be the proper way to address this matter. Um, but. For example, uh, let's say let's say for example, uh, Guam Power and DWA. Okay, they uh, really, uh, even though they're still considered uh, government of Guam employee, they uh, do not really come under the governor in any way, shape, or form. Right. And they're getting the uh, double pay. They are being controlled by elected uh, uh, consolidated commission of utilities. And then also, uh, you know, their uh, uh, the public utilities commission that really uh, controls the the money situation uh, because anything the power and water does that may affect uh, uh, rates, that's the uh, public utilities commission jurisdiction. All right. Thanks, uh, Mr. Hera. We definitely wanted to get your perspective on uh, there. And we're going to be uh, calling you back as this starts to develop to just get your two cents on how it's proceeding. Okay, Mr. Harrow? Um, uh, yes, that's, uh, you know, I'll be, like I said, glad to share what I know and, uh, you know, uh, uh, see what we can do. And uh, because, uh, um, again, you know, uh, things are bad enough uh, that uh, with the situation that uh, nobody should be. Uh, making it even worse. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Right on. Thank you. Is the wife yeah. paying you double pay for the your, all the yard work you're doing in the lockdown? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, no. Uh, We're going to get you on this lawsuit yeah. with GFP, <laughs> Mr. Harris. We're going to get you. You know what? That is my, not. My, my retirement pay and my Social Security <laughs> and military pay. So, oh, so your triple, uh, triple pay. Those triple pay. Are, yeah. are solid and they're, right. they're there that, uh, you know, um, but still, actually, uh, uh, some of my, uh, you know, for example, the uh, military pay, yeah. uh, there are circumstances when, when some of those could actually be uh, in jeopardy. Right. But uh, but I think uh, you're, you're doing okay, Mr. Harry. We, we want to thank you. But, but we're not worried that much. Yeah. Okay. Wash your hands, huh? There you go, Mr. Uh, Eloy Hara, former Civil Service uh, Commission Director. It's 718. We got Robert Koss uh, coming on to okay. talk about this uh, lawsuit. Uh, we'll take a little bit of a break here. KUAM News Takeover, Guam's favorite it is, containing COVID. Good morning. Keeping you informed, KUAM News.